Hey up everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, this is my first video, so please bear, bear with me. That's why I get to grips with editing and stuff like that. Um, I'm not sure if you've been following on the Instagram, um, but I just thought I'd do a bit of a walk through the conversion. I know, I know on Instagram it's been a bit vague, just with pictures. Um, I find it hard to find time to, to record everything I'm doing in the van. Um, but yeah, just a bit of info. This, this van, when I bought it, um, it was new, um, just as a standard commercial spec van. So it did originally have, uh, you know, all the black plastics and, you know, like your typical builder's van, really. Um, and over the last sort of year, um, I've just made a start converting it into a camper van slash day van. So, yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a walk around. And I'll probably start by showing you the inside of the front of the van. So we'll start with the cab guys. As you can see, this van is a very basic spec Transit Custom. Um, it is a 22 plate, so it's the, the, the newer the newer shape front end. But as you can see, we don't have aircon. We don't have the touch screen. It is very basic. It didn't actually come with cruise control either, but I did have it fitted. I don't know if you can see on the steering wheel there i did actually have the cruise control retrofitted um can't remember the guy's name um his name was billy i found him on facebook on one of the transit pages um but yeah he managed to retrofit cruise control for me which is great because i'm hoping to get down to france and italy in it in july this year so yeah it's about a thousand miles from my house in nottingham to there so yeah it won't be nice driving without that um as you can see, it's a bit hard to see with the lights on actually. I have actually carpet lined the cab roof, which is actually a lot easier than you think it is. I'd probably recommend doing it if if you're uh, okay with hand tools and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so I have carpet lined it in anthracite carpet, which as you can see, it just takes that factory style look away from it. Looks really good. And then, just regarding the seats, I've not actually done anything with the seats apart from seat covers. Um, I think these are just the standard Ford seats with that, that pattern on. I don't know what it's called, but it's just the standard Ford material, really. But, yeah, these seat covers are quite nice. Just got them off eBay, I think. Um, I think they might have been about 40, 50 quid, something like that. So yeah, that's the front. And now we'll start with the rear of the van. So I opted to go for the Plyworks Halo roof. And what I've done is, I don't know if you can see that very well, I've I've carpeted it in Harrison Trim Supplies. It's the honeycomb grey with grey stitch material. Um, and it actually finishes it off really nicely. And then I've just put some spotlights in from Wired Campers, which again, just finish it off really nicely. Um, I can't actually show you the halo roof working at the minute because as you can see, they're all my electric cables and they're not they're not connected up to the battery at the minute um, because as you'll probably see in a few weeks on my next video um, when my furniture's in everything's going to sit in that cupboard there so the battery and all the electrics so I've pulled all my cables in to this point so this is all my lighting, chargers, sockets etc ignore that that's just a cable I was using for testing because worst thing you could do get all your furniture in and then find that something don't work because you'll be taking it all back out so but yeah i've got a few sockets so that's me 230 volt which will only work when i'm on hookup and then i've also got a type c usb standard usb and then i've pretty much just mirrored that on the other side so we've just got light switches here which again don't work at the minute because we don't have a battery connected 
but I think I believe all these I got from Wired Campers and it's part of the CBE range so really nice finish I think these are pretty standard in most camper vans now um, but again just standard USB and a type C just finish it off really nicely um, and yeah under here I've not actually done anything under here yet as you can see it's got Olivia's Crocs in there and the dog's towel so but we are thinking about swapping that double bench for potentially a single swivel um, but we'll probably do that later on in the year um, just because the single seats on their own are about a thousand pounds that's without the swivel base without filling in the gaps left from the double bench so yeah we can do that later on moving on to the blinds we've actually gone for van shades which although expensive are probably the best option on the market in my opinion for a Ford Transit Custom um, so we've again gone for anthracite I think it's anthracite or anthrite um, and then we've just gone I believe they call it iron grey with an iron grey finish so I didn't want to go too dark so I thought it would um, probably make it really dark inside the van if we had like a, a dark coloured blind but as you can see they are really good in my opinion um, I've gone for those on all four windows so you actually see on the barn doors actually gone for the same which again just absolutely I've, I've tested them on the driveway at home really black out the van really well so and also I'm not blowing my own trumpet but I've carpeted everything in this van myself and it looks absolutely amazing like it almost looks like a professional's done it but if you follow the Instagram page you'll see I've actually got a blue halo light again can't show you as we have no battery but it's really coming together now also just for anyone who's wondering the cables so for our fridge um, I've, I've, actually, I've not got the fridge yet but I read the manual for a Dometic uh, I think it's the 50 litre fridge the CRX 50 and it's for, and it said for cables up to 2 metres um, running on 12 volts to use 4 mil cable I believe um, obviously double check this yourself when installing a fridge because other fridges might differ um, but I'm pretty sure it did say 4 mil for up to 2 meters at 12 volts so so that's for our fridge like I say this is for chargers plug sockets everything um, also the lighting obviously um, and the way I've ran these cables they're all inside plastic flexible conduit just to protect them from any sharp edges because last thing you want is a cable rubbing on a bit of steel or something like that um, and blowing a fuse because guarantee it'll happen in the middle at night when you need the lights on or you need your diesel heater on um, although we don't actually have a diesel heater yet again that'll be later in the year you know we're coming towards summer now so I'm not too fussed about a heater I say coming towards summer it's February but you know but yeah the cables are rooted behind this panel behind the insulation up this pillar here and then there's a hole under here that's in the factory it comes out of there along the roof out down the other pillar and then into our switches and sockets here and some people do go for an electric hookup point on the side of the van which usually sort of comes out here somewhere but I couldn't find one shallow enough because the Transit Customs compared to a VW those panels are quite um, the, the Transit Custom panels are quite shallow and I couldn't find a hookup point shallow enough to fit behind the panel without obstructing so I think what I'm going to do I'm going to mount my RCD box here when my furniture is fitted then I'm going to go down the van and we're going to have a hookup point underneath the van somewhere I've not decided where yet but we will be having one so yeah just a few 
little things. Um, also as well, if anybody ever needs a cable elsewhere, you can actually run one through the factory plastics and out here into the cab liner, which is helpful. Guys, one thing I want to say about the van shades um, on the Ford Transit Custom, um, this only applies to the ones people who have got a sliding window on the sliding door. Um, this is the camper glass, by the way. Um, so it's the camper glass sliding window for the Ford Transit Custom. Um, now, I might have, I, I mounted these blinds myself, but I might have just put it a bit too close to that. So it's not a dig at van shades. Um, but this is what you use to open the window. What I find is, when I put my blind down, just gets caught ever so slightly. Probably in like a few mil, which makes it a bit awkward for putting the blind down. But, again, that could just be my fault. Um, I'm not 100% sure. Just makes that one blind a little bit more awkward to put down than all the others. But apart from that, it's like a really good fit. Fits all the way up to the door seal. Like a really good fit. And also, the fitment around the door handle, really good. So I'd give a bit of advice. I did actually cut the windows out and stick them on myself. However, I'll just show you on the inside. Oh, it's a bit hard to see because I've got the van shade in. But I've got a bit of U trim down there. In fact, you can't actually see it because of the van shades. But yeah, I did actually stick them in myself, but I used the wrong size U trim. So when I first stuck the windows in, they were sticking out quite a lot here. As you see now, they're perfect, but on all four windows, they, they weren't quite lined up right. So I had to go and see my mate Ali at Stone House Campers in Mansfield, um, and he helped me take them all off. Um, and he also stuck them all back on for me. Um, and he's done an absolutely cracking job. As you can see, like the, the alignment there is absolutely perfect. Whereas before I had like a I had like a big gap down here and a, a small gap up top, but he's done a really good job now. Here's Olivia and Vinny back from the walk. That's where the name comes from. L Lovey, Lewis, Olivia, Vinny. Which is at Sherwood Pines at the moment. Now you're probably wondering as well, Lewis, you know, what are you doing with this floor? What's with all the wooden battens? So my plan is, um, so we're actually going for a, I think they call it a buffalo board, ply floor. So I've, I've bonded all these ribs in with Sikaflex. You can see it's just bulging out the sides there but these are absolutely solid to the van um, and for anybody wanting to put these down in the van I just got these from B&Q um, and I'm pretty sure they were 10mm battens, 10mm uh, thick and as you can see they literally sit flush with the ribs might be the odd millimetre out in places but but literally this this piece of wood sits at the same height as this rib here so that when you get your floor on it you don't get no depressions in it when you're standing on it it'll just naturally sit on the rib which is really good and then also i've just filled where the factory ply lining floor was i've just filled these holes with sikaflex just so in future we just don't get no rust spots on the floor or get any water ingress in the van from underneath um, and if possible, I'll probably recommend trying to blob those up from underneath the van as well. Um, just so you've got like that double double sealant on there. But yeah, the plan is um, next week I'm, I'm hopefully going to be getting down to Cymru Camper Furniture in Carmarthenshire. Um, so you will see um, the sort of next stage of the van, if, if, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, so that should be next week's video sorted. But yeah, if anybody's looking for any advice, just for, I'm not a professional, but if anybody wants any help on a Ford Transit Custom, 
um, more than happy to help or if you follow our Instagram again we might be able to offer some tips on there just landed back at home guys so I just thought I'd take you a quick video so I've just rigged the battery up just so I can show you the lights on um, obviously I would not recommend doing this because I have currently got no fuse there on my lighting circuit but like I say it's just purely for testing showing you guys so here is the spotlights on which look pretty sick the blue light oh no I know you can't really see it that well hopefully you can see it there and if I just shut the back doors as you can see that looks really really good really love that blue light um, just in case anyone's interested I just got a 12 volt DC LED strip off eBay um, and I think the Plyworks roof they tell you <coughs> pardon me they tell you that you need a five and a half meter light but I fit a five meter light around the edge and it looks like it's done the job it, you know it's not short so yeah it looks really good Thank you for watching the video guys as i said this is first video so please bear with me it's a learning curve just learning how to edit videos um, and stuff like that we are hoping to get a few more videos out obviously once the furniture's in and stuff like that um, and we have got plans to go away in in the van in in july so again hopefully we'll get a video out on that as well um, thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe and yeah, we'll hopefully get more videos out soon.